Coming up on Unpacked. I'm from humble beginnings. My mom met her boyfriend in 2008. I saw the signs of abuse from the beginning. He assumed that my mom was cheating. When we get home, the carpet was full of blood and I still remember she was facing up, showing no sign of life. Discovering your mother's butchered, lifeless body. Today's guest is here to share his story. Let's unpack. Kiake Gile Mabea is a 25-year-old lecturer and social entrepreneur who hails from the village of Muiletswane in the Northwest. Having lost his father as a child, his mother became the sole provider for their family. No one knew that a new relationship that his mother entered into a few years later would further shatter their family forever. This is part one of Gyakekhile's story. Let's unpack. Gyakekhile, welcome to the show. Thank you so much for joining us. Thank you, Lebukhile, for inviting me. And this is a great opportunity to share my story, how I changed my, my pain mm. into purpose and how I turned my scars into stars. And this is the story of overcoming and becoming. Mm. And the story that I wanted people, I wanted it to turn people into believers that greatness, it is possible. So take us back to, you know, there was a time your parents were married. What was yes. life like, Anzelo Hol? Mm, having to think about it, it was such a beautiful life, full of special memories where family, of four, mm. which was my dad, my mom, my real sister, and I. Mm. And there are so many beautiful moments that I can think of. I remember that my, my dad was a very loving and a caring dad. And I remember during his day offs at work, he will take us to school, and in the morning, my mom will prepare us for school, iron the clothes, and after school, he will come to school and, and, and fetch us. And at that time, my mom was still working at the bakery. Mm. So the relationship, again, with, with, with my mom, it was a relationship of us being best friends. Mm. Because I still remember we used to play all the... Um, board games that you can think mm. of, the indigenous games. So we were as 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 tight as that and as as thick as thieves. And I still remember that um we used to go and fetch the wood together, mm. to go and fetch the water together. And uh, which area was this Mulikulizin good thing? It is in a village called Shakung in Bukwanebu Pirim. Oh. So that's where I, I, I'm from. Mm. It, was, it was a rural village, mm. a rural area, I mean. And I'm from humble beginnings. Mm. And that's why each and every day I always tell people that you shouldn't let your background put your back on the ground. Mm -hmm. And I still remember all those happy moments. And even today, I still hold their marriage so sacred because mm -hmm. it was so beautiful. It was full of, of peace. It was full of joy. My dad prioritized my mom's happiness. Mm -hmm. And it is during that time that I realized that it feels so good to, to love and be loved. And as children, we learn from, observa from, from observations. Mm. And at that time, I also understood very clearly that love is not about what you say, it's about what you do. And I think um, you've hit the nail on the head with what you're saying. And uh, it's, it's said that at some point, Papa left us. What happened? My, my dad passed on when I was in grade three. Mm. And it was a natural death. Mm. And after that... Well, what had happened? It, it, was, it was a lung problem, mm. if I, I still remember well. And after that, life changed. Mm. Because right now, 
My mom has to stand on the front line. Mm. She has to work more to put the bread on the table because mm. my dad was, was the one who was providing for us. And even now, I still remember those days where we used to run from our home to him when he comes back from work and he would be having plastics full of groceries. Mm. And our, our lives took a major turn. Mm. after he passed on, because they were still building a house. My mom had to be a father figure to us, mm. to be also a mother figure to us. And what I loved about my mom is that that woman held the sharp side of a knife. Mm. And she had a very kind heart, a true embodiment of kindness. And she was love personified. Mm. Mm. So um, at some point now, Papa Koko Feze, you struggle a little bit because that other income is not there anymore, but Mama, you know, makes ends meet yes. and is able to raise you guys. So how long after Papa passed away did Mama meet somebody new? My mom met her boyfriend in... 2008, because I remember that's when I was in grade seven. So this was about four years after Papa passed away. Yes. Mm. And when the relationship started, I, I saw the signs of abuse from the beginning. And I believe when the person who's in that abusive relationship when, when the person is in it, it's not so easy for them to, to really see the signs and I believe... What's the first sign you saw? The jealousy. Mm. All the, the male friends that my mom had mm. before that guy came into our life, mm. they started to draw back and I was asked as to why are, is this one and that one not coming anymore? Mm. And she said to me, it is because of the new boyfriend is having jealousy. Those signs of possessiveness mm. because he used to have so much of, of at the high level of irrationality mm. when my mom is speaking to an opposite gender. And most of the time he will be the one who's speaking up fights to say that, why are you speaking to that person? To an extent that he, he was monitoring my mom's movements mm. and whom she was spending time with. Sure. And it became a problem to me. And at some point, I think maybe my mom thought I didn't want her to have a new boyfriend mm. or to have somebody in, in, in her life. But that was not the case. I was literally saying to her, you need to get out of this mm. when there's still time. And you need to get out of it. You need to exit this abusive relationship mm. and never look back. So um, when are you noticing the jealousy and all of these things? At what point in Mama's new relationship did you now verbalize to her to say, Mama, what I'm seeing is not on? I believe it's after I realized that this guy is drinking excessively mm. and... Most of these fights that I'm talking about, they, they, they happen when, when he's drunk mm. because he will be very aggressive. He will start to scream at my mom. Mm. And because I knew what love is and how my, 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 my dad expressed it to my mom, at that time, as young as I was, I knew that there is not love. Mm. And that's when I said to her, this is not going to work. You better get out of this relationship as early as it is. Mm. And it was, it, was, it was not so easy. And I believe it was not easy because of, as, as, as I've said, my mom was very kind-hearted. Mm. It was not easy for her to, to just let that relationship collapse mm. because she had a belief that this guy will change. It's mm. only happening at that time when he's drunk and excessively mm. so. And the aggressiveness, I think it is the one that was making me to cringe, mm. to say, my, my dad has never talked to my mom like that mm. and don't you dare. And Did you ever confront him? I mean, you, yes. were, you were a teenager at the time. Yeah. What, what did that confrontation look like? 
the it it was it was very sour and he was always trying to draw that picture to my mom as if I'm I'm a stubborn child. Mm. I I don't have respect and having to to know that those are the value sets that my mom and my dad instilled in us. Yes. I'm I'm a very humble person, I'm a very respectful person. Mm. So so it takes one to push me against the walls mm. for me to reveal that character where one will end up seeing me as somebody who's disrespectful. Mm. And we 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 would be sitting in 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 a lounge uh in a dining room and my mom would be busy with all the 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 the, the home chores mm. and i would be monit- also monitoring this guy's behavior and my mom's phone will ring and when it rings he will be able to 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 hear that it's ringing and my mom is outside he will stand and pretend as if he was going to check up on my mom but that alone it was another sign of this person is is an abusive person mm-hmm. and he was only going outside in order to for him to hear whom my mom was speaking to there was never any other pure intention and the genuine love to say that i'm going to check my partner mm-hmm. that was not the case and time and again i was trying to to say to my mom there are signs and you shouldn't be convinced by this guy that he's going to change and the problem with 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 an emotional abuse is is that you you don't go out there as compared to to the physical abuse mm. you don't out you don't go out there and the world sees your bruise mm. so those are the bruises that are, are in your heart and nobody can see mm. there and i think what's also difficult with emotional abuse is it's hard to explain not just to people to oneself what tone is the yeah. way someone said something and it's easy to explain it away like what you say because there's nothing physically to show true it's easy to say maybe i'm overreacting maybe it's not that bad maybe i'm the problem true. so i think exactly like what you're saying that wherever your mom found herself the emotional abuse is harder to face head on because you can't see it and it's hard to really quantify the gravity of what it's doing to you did 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 this relationship that mama was in start to damage your relationship with her and interfere in your closeness yeah i i believe at at some point it was it was drifting us apart mm. because i remember vividly that there were times where the boyfriend will will buy food i will not eat mm. i would rather choose to go to bed with an empty stomach why? because i was saying to myself why is it that i'm going to eat the food of somebody who is an abuser to my mom mm. and that alone was the deepest cut and this was affecting my relationship with my mom because it was a pain in in her heart to say that my child is going to sleep with an empty stomach mm. and i was not only going to sleep with an empty stomach without telling her that there is the reason as to why i'm doing it i'm not going to eat this guy's food because now because of this element of possessiveness mm. it is as if now we cannot live because of it looks like he's the one who's putting the bread on the table mm. so i better starve so that you 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 really understand what i'm feeling inside mm. because i've said it several times that this is hurting me mm. and you you need to to take an action before it gets late your sister um what was her response to everything that was going on or was she not as aware as you were I believe she 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 was aware but in 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 terms of our our personalities I believe my 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 sister's head is is always on the ground mm. she's a very reserved person and she's the person who who's full of tranquility and calm mm. she doesn't like the noise and I'm 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 that person 
who will stand on the front line and say, if I don't like something, I'm going to deal with mm. it. Mm. So most of the time, I was the one who was reacting. Mm. So I believe she she was able to to see all the signs. And the the, the emotional abuse is, is, is as bad and as damaging as the physical abuse and i believe that it is the 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 least understood form of of abuse did um he ever become emotionally abusive or verbally abusive to you the kids no not 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 that i i remember mm. because i believe at some point he 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 knew who I am and, and, and what I can do. So I, I think it was not easy for him to talk to me directly. Mm. That's why even that time when I was so angry and I told him where to get off, he didn't come straight to me. He had to go through my mom. Sure. Mm -hmm. So when did the verbal abuse escalate to physical and what happened? <sighs> I believe everything happened so very fast. Mm. The physical abuse, it escalated in a very short period of time. And it's only one incident that I, I remember. Mm. In fact, my, 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 my sister told me about it mm. because during, during those, those years, I think around 2010, in fact, 2009, my, my, my younger aunt got married. So my, my grandmom was left alone. So my, my mom asked me to, to go and stay with my grandmom at the neighboring village. Mm. So the person who experienced the first in this incident of physical abuse, it was my sister. Mm. And I've asked her about it and, and what is it that, it, that, that transpired on that mm. day. And she told me that on that day, my mom, my mom went for shopping mm. because I was, I was still staying with my grandmom. My mom will, will, will come to my grandmom's place on the day that my, my grandmom gets the, the pension mm. money. So she will, she will come and my grandmom will, will give her money then she will go shopping on our behalf. And you know, at that time, who busy mm -hmm. at that time? So the queues are very long. And my mom came back late. So when she was in a taxi, she called the boyfriend mm -hmm. to say that I'm going to arrive late. Mm -hmm. Unfortunately, in, in a taxi, there, there are different genders. Mm. So there were men who were speaking mm. at the background. Mm. So he assumed that my mom was cheating. Mm. Then when my mom got home, then that's when the guy came to, to, to my parents' house and he was accusing my mom of cheating. Mm. And the way my, my sister and I raised the story, she's saying that she touched my mom in a very harsh way. And my sister started screaming to say that, don't, don't touch her like that. Mm. And I believe that's how it started to be physical. And I think a few, few days after that, then that's when my mom said, it's enough. I can't bear this anymore. Mm. My husband has never done this to me. She, uh, he has shown me so much of love. Mm. And now that it was starting to get physical, I think that it's the time that he, he, uh, she got that uh, wake up call to mm. say, this is so real. And whatever that I've been saying for, for those years, mm. it is true. And she went on and filed uh, a protection order against against him, mm. and after that, I think after two days, they had to to go to to appear at 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 at, 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 at the court again, mm. and before that, because they gave him the date to say that you need to to appear at, at at court, so that guy came to our home, and at that time it was during school holidays, so I traveled from my my grandmom's place, then I went home. Mm. Then 
he came, he tried to apologize, and my mom said, I'm not going to accept your apology. And I, I believe it was so unbelievable to him because what I've realized is that this guy became comfortable in depending on my mom's apology to say, my mom will say, you it's mean okay. depending on your mom's forgiveness? Yes, 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 my mom's my mom's forgiveness. So my mom will say it's it's, it's okay, it's fine. Mm. We have dealt with it and he will make promises to say that I will change. Mm. He will only change for 2 days and do some work at 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 our 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 home and I think that's that was a way to to fool us for some time mm. and there comes the weekend he goes back and drink and he goes back to the abuser that mm. that that he was so now the you know waiting for the court date he's come to apologize your mom absolutely refuses yeah what happens next at that time my mom doesn't want anything to to do to do with him and i remember she said to to him we'll meet tomorrow at court. So it is in the morning uh, on the 29th of September 2010. Mm. We wake up in the morning. I, I believe when, when, when my mom used to go for, for, for an outing or go for shopping, we will be the ones who choose the outfits for her. Mm. So... It's, it's a very good morning for us. And it's a good morning because at the back of our minds, as, as young as we were, we are thinking to ourselves that this is the day this toxic monster with this horrific behavior is going to be closed behind mm. bars. So that's what brings the happiness and what makes our 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 faces to glitter with, with, with happiness. We wake up in the morning, she takes a bath. She looked absolutely stunning. Mm. And her energy was everything. And the aura, mm. her aura was, was so stunning and incredibly amazing. Mm. She wakes up in the... Uh, in, in that morning, then we, we accompany her to, to take a taxi. And on that day, my, my older aunt took leave from work because she's a teacher, so that she, she, she gives her the, the support that she needed. And before she got a taxi, I still remember so vividly. The last words that she said to us was, I love you, my kids, and you should never, ever doubt that. You are so dear and near to my heart. And she gave us that, that motherly hug. And it was so very tight. A little did I know that that was the last time I get to share such a beautiful moment with her. And we said to her, we, we love you too. And after that, we told her about all the activities that we were going to do on that day. We went back home and we did all the home chores that we were supposed to do. And later on, because we, we also told her that we were going to go to a barber shop so that I can cut my hair. We did all the home chores. Then my sister 
went, went with me to, to the barber shop. And when we got there, I started cutting my hair. It got late. Then I remembered that she doesn't like it when we get home late. Mm. And I said to my sister, maybe please go to the public phone and call her so that you inform her as to where we are at this time. Mm. And to also inform her that we are going to get home late. Mm. And the way the events took place, when I was still busy cutting my hair, the electricity went off. And when my, my sister came back from the public phone, she was saying to me, the public phone is not working. Mm. And I was so stressed to say, how am I going to explain myself when I get home? Because I'm the older brother. I am the one who needs to, to account as to why we came back home late. Mm. And at that time, the, um, the machine stopped working mm. after the electricity came back. Then we went back home. We were so excited because we were hoping to hear that that guy has been locked behind bars. And because our piece was destroyed, we are going to regain that piece again. So obviously you are excited because you're hoping to hear the good news that this court thing is sorted. And now you guys are on the way home. What happens next? When, when we get home, we unlock the gate and we use the, the kitchen door. And... Was there anything you noticed at the gate when you were coming in? Yes, I think it is the way in which the gate was first end. Mm. Because I know how my mom closes the gate. Yes. So... When I got there, I didn't pay so much of attention to the gate. But when we got to approach the kitchen door, we see a key holder with stains of blood. And this is like in the door? Yeah, it's outside. The oh, the key in the door on the outside? Yes, with the key filled holder. With blood. With, filled with blood, we see the stains. And at that time, I believe denial kicked in immediately mm. to say that this is not what you think it is. Mm. And I went as far as thinking that maybe my mom was slaughtering a chicken mm. because there were chickens. Mm. And I became convinced at that time. Mm. And I said to myself, it's not happening. Mm. But again, I'm still seeing these kids outside. Why is that the case? And I opened the door. When I opened the door, the first thing that I see is an egg full of blood. Mm. I'm still in denial. I'm having the conflict of thoughts. And what I want to believe at that time is that it can't be my mom. It is that chicken that I thought of. But again, I don't get the time to, to really ask myself, why is it that she will use an X because normally she uses a knife? Mm. But I'm still responding to, this is what it might be. Whatever that I do not want to think of at this time, mm. this is what might be the reality. And my, my sister and I, we start screaming her name. We go from the first room, because it was a three-bedroomed house. We go to the first room, we are screaming her name. We go to the second room, we are screaming her name. We go to the main bedroom. Mm. We see the beautiful dress that we chose for her in the morning. We see her shoes 
lying there, then we get that moment of being at ease for that period, a short period of time to say that means she's here mm. because we see the clothes. And the last room that we had to go to mm. was the dining room. And when we got there, she was lying on the floor. The carpet was full of blood. The cupboards, the cupboards were, were, were full of blood. And I still remember she was facing up, showing no sign of life. Next time on Unpacked. But I believe that's when we cried our loudest cry. I knew it, it has to be here. What if he comes back and finishes off? Why do you think he took your mother's life? He took a cowardly way of doing things. If you're here to apologize, we don't need that. No amount of apology will bring her back. She deserves better. Thank you so much for watching Unpacked with Rilip Khile Mamoja. Make sure you subscribe to my channel where you can get to watch more episodes. But more importantly, you can be part of our online community. Comment down below, share with us who you'd like to see on the show, what story you'd like us to discuss. We love engaging with you. Keep it coming and don't forget to subscribe.